G'day, Jeremy here from Cookie Composites. A couple of months ago, we launched the dual top plate for the fuel helmet. And because of the complexity of the mounting, we were asking customers to send the helmet back to us so that we could mount them in the factory. Since then, we realized that shipping helmets back is, is a bit tricky worldwide shipping for people, as well as having to get the hulls really precise, we decided to design and manufacture a drill jig so that you can mount these at home using some simple hand tools. So using this drill jig, there's potentially a few ways to put the holes in the helmet. Uh, one would include using a Dremel, but we've decided to focus on the most simple and the one that you're more likely to have tools for. So what you'll need is a small drill, a three millimeter or one eighth drill bit, an 11 mil drill bit or seven sixteenths in the old money, uh, a battery drill, a hex key that suits the front mount in the fuel helmet, some thread lock, uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, the mount itself that you've received, and also the drill jig. To, pre to prep your fuel helmet, you'll need to remove the helmet liner itself. This is important because you're gonna drill some holes in the helmet and you don't wanna drill holes in your liner. Remove the front plate. Okay, after removing this front plate from the helmet, you'll notice that the drill jig sits in using the two rear holes in that front mount. Use the nut retainer and screws that you took out of your front plate to screw the drill jig to the fuel helmet. Once you've got the drill jig attached to your fuel helmet, you'll notice that it's easy to see where these four holes need to be. The drill jig also acts to protect the holes or your helmet around the edge of that hole. Using the small or three mil drill, what you need to do is just create a pilot hole in the center of each of these four slots. Then shift to your large 11 or 7 16 mil drill. So once you've drilled the larger hole, you need to open it up using the side of the drill. To do this, you'll just have to push it in and out and manhandle it slightly. There is a little bit of wiggle room, so you don't have to get it perfect, but you'll notice that the slotted out hole will do the job. So once you've got all four holes made, you can remove the drill jig and you'll notice that you've got four reasonably tidy holes in your fuel and this should allow you to easily now add the fuel top mount. Okay, the next step is to disassemble the dual top plate which you will get assembled so that you know that you've got all the pieces. To disassemble, just remove the hex screws that are in each four corners. The dual top plate will come apart with the, the two risers, the nut inserts, all into separate pieces. What you need to do is check each part is labelled with a helmet size and the mount to helmet size specific. So this one says size large through XXL. So if you've either got a large, an XL or an XXL, it'll fit your helmet. If you add the risers to the plate, you should be able to hold that together in one piece and sit it on top of your fuel helmet. The nut retainer sits on the inside. You'll see it come through the helmet like that. And then that should just sit there in one piece while you get a screw in. Taking the other nut retainer, adding it to the other side of the helmet, you'll be able to get the final two screws into place and you're almost done. So once you've got all four screws in this mount and the mounts on the helmet and loosely done up, you can pull one screw out at a time to get some thread locker on there. And when you're doing these screws up, there's no need to swing on them, just get them done up firmly and the Loctite will stop the screw from coming out. The next step is to add the front plate back into your fuel helmet and put the liner back in. 
And lastly, we'll reinsert the liner. Firstly, the brow. Then the ears. Next, the top. Last bit, the half moon. All right, once you've got the liner in, chin cut back on, you're ready to go. Thank you.